Good morning, everybody. Good morning, it's JPR, and welcome back to another video. As a franchise aimed at all ages, Pokemon has had a wonderful track record when it comes to kid-friendly content, like gambling and guns and... Wait a minute, am I reading the wrong script? Oh. Actually, Pokemon does have all those things. Well, even if it risks me getting demonetized, let's go over some of the most notable examples of censorship in the Pokemon franchise. So usually on this channel, I primarily discuss the games and the anime, but for today, I think we should start off with a section of the franchise that deserves a lot more attention, the TCG. Well, attention from me at least, it definitely gets enough in general. And that's because this section of the franchise includes dozens of censored cards over the years. The first one is a very small detail on this Grimer from the Team Rocket set released in 1998. At a glance, this card may seem innocent enough, but upon further inspection, it could be argued that Grimer is attempting to look up this girl's skirt. And so, to avoid these allegations, and keep Grimer off a government watch list, the English version of this card was altered to have Grimer's eyes face forward. Grimer no longer has a desire for women. He has a desire for you! One year later in 1999, the English version of Sabrina's Gengar would also be changed to remove the cemetery in the background. This probably has to be one of the tamest cards to be censored, seeing as how cemeteries are commonly featured in many modern-day cards of ghost-type Pokémon, and numerous cemeteries appear throughout the games and anime without any kind of censorship. This may have just been a case of early Pokémon trying to play things extra safe, with the entire franchise being under a massive microscope during the early days of Pokémania. Unfortunately, this is not the only time that Sabrina has gone through a censorship of some sort, as the trainer card Sabrina's Gaze was also changed in its international releases, as some believed her to be making an improper hand gesture in the original Japanese art. Some people also believe in Bigfoot, but I digress. Unlike other cards we've discussed so far, this card wasn't just edited, but the entire art was redrawn for the West, which unfortunately downgrades Sabrina's Master Ball to a Pokeball. Come on, man, that's not cool. But at the very least, she's not alone among Kanto Gym Leaders, as Misty also had a card censored in the English release, known as Misty's Tears. In the original art of the card, Misty is depicted in what appears to be the nude while holding her Staryu. Similar to Sabrina's gaze, this card's artwork was entirely changed in the West, with the new illustration depicting a Squirtle wiping away Misty's tears. In Generation 2, the Neo Genesis set would notably have three cards altered in their international release. Both the arcade game and card flip game cards were re-illustrated to make them look less casino-esque, but perhaps the most interesting altered card of the generation would have to be the Moo Moo Milk. The original version of the card features a centric sucking on the udders of what appears to be a real-life cow-shaped bottle. Either that, or it's an incredibly small real-life cow that's been decapitated, but I'm gonna go with the former. In the English release, the card now features a Cleffa walking into a stable housing the actual Moo Moo Milk from the games, which is a much more logical illustration. What's so funny, though, is that the original illustration may have proven to be too much even for Japanese audiences, as all reprints of this card in Japan actually now use the new English artwork. After Generation 2 ended, Pokémon card art stayed fairly tame, with no cards needing to be altered again until 2012, when we got Dragon's Exalted Magmortar. This card depicted Magmortar aiming its cannon directly at the viewer, with the smoke surrounding it making it look like a handgun that had just been fired. So, to avoid any correlation with firearms, the card was altered to show Magmortar in a different pose. I still don't know why both versions of Magmortar have him inside of N's castle of all places, but whatever, maybe I'm asking questions that are a bit too deep. So with the TCG out of the way, let's get into some censored material from the video games. Like the card art of the gambling machines, the Game Corner is perhaps the most noteworthy example of censorship in the games. A former staple of most regions, the Game Corner began to get phased out in the middle of Gen 4 due to new laws in the EU prohibiting gambling to be advertised to kids under the age of 12. Way to go, Europe! How am I supposed to win all those coins back now? Can't win if you don't play, that's what I say. The first instance of the Game Corner being altered was in the Korean versions of Pokémon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, as well as the European versions of Pokémon Platinum where the slot machines are renamed to Game Machines, and the player isn't allowed to play on them. Instead, the machines have a chance to randomly give the player 5 to 20 coins per day, which, ironically enough, is probably more coins than most of us American players are making up the slots, so maybe it actually was an advantage. By the time Heart Gold and Soul Silver rolled around, both the Goldenrod and Celadon game corners have been altered in every version outside Japan, with Voltorb Flip being the new minigame that replaced the slot machines. In all honesty, I don't mind this change, as Voltorb Flip actually has a decent amount of strategy to it, and it can actually serve as a decent time killer. However, making totally separate minigames for other territories seem like a fruitless endeavor for Game Freak, so by the time Gen 5 rolled around, the Game Corner was entirely removed. This even held up for both the Hoenn and Sinnoh remakes as well. 
in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the Mallville Game Corner has permanently closed, and in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the Game Corner is replaced with the Metronome Style Shop, which again, is a trade that I'm willing to accept. But even before the Game Corners went under, small revisions were already being made to the Gambler Trainer class. In Fire Red and Leaf Green, international versions of the game renamed the Gambler class to the Gamer class. And in the Sinnoh-based games, the Gambler was once again renamed to... the Private Investigator? Oh, because he has a trench coat on and sort of looks like an undercover cop? I guess that fits well enough. It's a bit of an unfortunate change, though, because Gen 4 is where the Gambler class actually starts playing like a real Gambler. As they all use Pokémon that know the move Horn Drill, gambling on one-hit KOs rather than actual skill, which I find to be a pretty funny change. Because Diamond and Pearl's dex is so bad, though, this means that all the gamblers can use are Goldeen and Seeking, though. However, when they appear in the Battle Tower, they have access to more one-hit KO attacks, and will even try to cheese you a Destiny Bond from time to time. Pokemon Gold and Silver have numerous censored sprites in the Western release. For both the Beauty and Swimmer Trainer classes, them winking to the player was edited out, and the Beauty also had her skirt lengthened. The Fisherman Trainer class had his cigarette removed, the Sages had their praying hand gesture changed to simply having their arms crossed, and the Mediums had their Buddhist prayer beads taken out for cultural reasons. Speaking of mediums, their somewhat related trainer class from Gen 1, the Channelers from Pokemon Tower, had their dialogue altered in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, removing any of the references they used to make about death and blood. But that doesn't compare at all to the old man staying outside the Celadon gym. In Gen 1, as well as Fire Red and Leaf Green, he says, This gym is great! It's full of women! But in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, as well as Let's Go, he says, This gym is great! It's full of strong trainers. Yeah, sure it is, old man. Though he's not the only oldster who had to be changed in the international release. In all versions of Kanto, the old man who initially blocks the road in Viridian City is passed out drunk in Japanese. But in English, he's just grumpy that he hasn't had his morning coffee. In Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, the old man is entirely removed for Jesse, James, and Meowth, likely due to those games being aimed at a younger audience, even in Japan. Returning to sprites for a moment, though many Pokemon sprites have been changed for the sake of accuracy, only one, outside of Jinx, has been outright censored in any capacity. Diamond and Pearl, Registeel, and the European version only. Probably because his high five, or uh, high three, doesn't look so friendly over there. And now both of his arms comfortably rest by his side, right where they should be. Hey, don't leave yet, we're only halfway done. But if you made it this far, why not subscribe to the channel? I really wanna reach a quarter million subs soon, so pretty pretty please? Shifting gears to the Pokemon anime, there's no shortage of censored material. Now, for this section, I won't be including any of the banned episodes since I literally just made a video on that a few months ago. Instead, we'll be talking about specific edits within episodes that actually made it overseas. In fact, there's a censored scene as early as episode 1. When Misty hooks Ash, pulls him to land, and sees Ash's injured Pikachu, she slaps him for being so careless. But in English, the slap is removed. Interestingly, the Indigo League arc leaves a ton of other material in the dub that would never survive today. Like Misty trying to ward Ghastly off with a cross, Ash being held at gunpoint by a shopkeeper, just all sorts of unhinged 90s moments. So it's very interesting to see what did and didn't get censored. In episode 207, Got Miltank, another sus milk-related moment is cut from the dub, where Meowth and Ash's Cyndaquil are briefly seen nursing themselves back to health with Miltank's udders. This is actually the only time that Milk Drink is ever seen in the anime, and Brock even acknowledges it in the dub, despite the scene still being cut out. From there, censorship in the anime would take a break for a while, but has ramped back up dramatically since the XY and Sun and Moon series. In XY episode 132, Coming Apart at the Dreams, Ash and his friends are held captive by Lysander at the top of Prism Tower in a crucifixion type of pose. These poses were mostly altered in the dub, but a few small scenes still showed them in their original positions, leading to a few inconsistencies. Furthermore, when Lysander attempts to steal Ash and Greninja's bond phenomenon power away from them with a laser, the dub replaces Ash's screams of agony with him just looking hypnotized. However, many of the non-English dubs keep the audio of Ash screaming, but use the visuals from the English version where he's hypnotized. So, there are many versions of the scene that just don't make any sense. In Sun and Moon Episode 6, the scene of Ash vomiting on Pikachu after cooking his own food is cut out in the dub. In Episode 118, Aiming for the Top Floor, the shurikens that Ash throws are recolored to be pink and sound less violent when they're thrown. They also change the color of the Wrecking Ball from black to pink, because that makes the Wrecking Ball hurt less, I think. And very recently in the Aim to be a Pokemon Master miniseries, in the episode Rocket Revengers, the reference to the ending song Brock's Paradise, with Brock shaking his maracas, is removed in the dub. Curiously, when Brock uses maracas in much earlier seasons, they were never censored out. But maybe somebody thought this would be seen as culturally insensitive today. 
but I've saved the dub's biggest recurring bane for last, and of course by that I mean those dastardly Japanese rice balls. The rice balls have been a bit of a meme since Brock called them jelly donuts in the dub of episode 25, so, like, almost forever. The amount of times that rice balls have been edited or referred to as something else entirely is so insane that they literally have an entire Bulbapedia page devoted to them. Jelly Donuts are the most infamous example of four kids attempting to Americanize this Japanese snack, but they've also referred to them as cookies, sandwiches, onions, and popcorn balls. During the Hoenn arc of the anime, four kids even went as far to digitally remove the rice balls by painting over them with massive sandwiches. And this even extends into some game material as well, as the rice ball from Hey You Pikachu gets replaced by a cupcake in the English version of the game. Does their tyranny know no bounds? The meme of the rice balls being referred to as jelly donuts became so popular that it was even referenced in the dub of Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution and by Brock himself in Pokemon Masters EX. And of course, I've saved perhaps the most wild section for last, the Pokemon Adventures manga, which is notoriously mature by Pokemon standards at least. So it should come as no surprise that a lot of content has had to be censored over the years. Here's just a few of the biggest modifications made to the English release. In the red, blue, and green arc of the manga, when Green fights against Sabrina, she's suspended motionless by the move Disable. In the original Japanese, she hides her Pokeballs for Clefairy and Jigglypuff under her dress, and taunts Sabrina into ripping her dress open to release them. But in the English version, her taunt simply makes Sabrina lose focus and cancel the Disable. Up next, we have a few instances of physical abuse being edited out. The first being from the Gold, Silver, and Crystal arc where Crystal's mom slapping her gets changed to a menacing glare in English. Fast forwarding to the Ruby and Sapphire arc, Ruby and his father Norman have a much different relationship than they do in the games, with Ruby running away from home to compete in Pokemon contests, much to Norman's disappointment. When Norman eventually finds Ruby, he physically abuses him for leaving the family behind. In the English version, while Norman still grabs Ruby by the collar, a lightning strike happens that causes Norman to lose his grip on Ruby and drop him to the ground. A rather goofy substitution for the punch, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. From the same arc, Sapphire helps a young trainer by examining her sick Zigzagoon. In the original, Sapphire ends up sniffing the Zigzagoon's rear end to check its health, and ends up with, uh... Oh. Oh, that's just nasty. Alright, moving on. In the Emerald arc, while looking for Emerald, the character I should specify, Ruby and Sapphire find a rainbow out in the forest that, unbeknownst to them, was caused by Emerald urinating off a cliff. In the English version, instead, Emerald is seen pouring out a bottle of soda pop saying that it's bad for his health, which probably has to be one of the funniest censorships of all time. Moving ahead to the black and white arc, the manga version of the raid on En's castle takes a rather dark turn. Instead of the gym leaders showing up to turn the tide on the Seven Sages like they do in the games, Getsus imprisons and crucifies them, which was changed in the English release to just have their arms tucked behind the poles. That's a change that seems pretty reasonable. In the X and Y arc, Y, who is Serena's manga counterpart, gets her clothes stolen by an Electrike at one point, leaving her partially exposed in the panel. The English version would add an undergarment to keep things a bit more PG. Later in the same chapter, Y's underwear can be seen partially exposed, which also had to be censored in English. Dang, there were some down bad illustrators working on this one. Another pretty big departure from the games is found in the Oras arc when Rayquaza rejects Zinnia. In the games, it's a simple, nah, I would really rather not work with you. But in the manga, Rayquaza feels the need to impale Zinnia with its tail and then obliterate her with a point-blank hyperbeam. And surprisingly, most of this stays unchanged in English although Zinnia coughing up blood after being impaled was removed. Gotta protect the kids. Now to be clear, there are dozens of other Pokemon manga out there with censored material that rivals, or in some cases, goes beyond this. But for the sake of keeping this video short, I'm gonna end off with adventures. Well, we did it. We survived. Now hopefully YouTube doesn't censor me for talking about censored content. Wouldn't that be ironic? But if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you guys next time.